It's hard to be vegan. I can't stay vegan. You ever heard that before? I have plenty of times, too many times. I mean, I'm at that point right now where when people, I've been vegan for five, maybe six years. Um, I'll, I'll say about five, you know, just so I don't overestimate. Um, you know, I'm at that point right now where like when people tell me, oh, hey, I went vegan, Tino. You know? I'm like, great. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> because honestly, just as fast as somebody could come on is just as fast as somebody can come off. Being vegan is not hard. And if you actually take yourself seriously on how you're eating, you will not rely on anybody. You don't show up to company parties, family parties, uh, without having yourself in check, without bringing your food with you, without already preparing to have the food there. Come on now, people set themselves up for failure so they can say that they tried and they really didn't try. They just cornered themselves on purpose, subconsciously, so that they could fail. Because it's like, damn, well, you know, I tried. Ah, you didn't try. You didn't try. Too many people are playing that game. And it's like, health, real health exists. You can be healthy. You know, you keep shopping at the 99 cent store. Yeah, of course you're not finding no good food, you know. Go drive an hour out. Spend the extra dollar. Spend the extra five dollars, ten dollars, thirty dollars. Everything in life is expensive. If you keep playing this game like, like, oh, I can't do it because of money. Man, you got to get ahead of the matrix. And I'm not talking to you with the circumstance, you know. And if, and if it is you with the circumstance, change that. You know, I'm not even actually trying to make exceptions for nobody. Because honestly, anybody can do it. It's not, a, it's not a hard thing. It's a serious thing. And let me explain what I mean by that. It's not difficult like, like running a mile or, you know, doing something that takes actual strength and work. Nah, this is completely mental. It's completely mental. It's how serious you're taking yourself. So if you're not taking yourself seriously, you're going to keep failing. And being vegan is great, but it's not everything. So for anyone who's already vegan, remember, there was a point in time where you weren't. And remember, as much as you believe up and down that everybody should be plant-based, as do I, remember, somebody doesn't need that to be happy. Okay? And... You have to learn how to learn from people who are choosing not to be on that path and have still brought other fruits, other knowledge, other blessings. So don't be so fixated in thinking that it's the end all, finish all of truth. Because I'll tell you the truth right here. 70% of vegans that claim themselves to be so care more about the animals than themselves. You're not eating clean. You're eating unhealthy. If if McDonald's went vegan, you would eat there, you know? You're like, you're still supporting these companies who are contributing to what you're against when you're not eating organic, when you're not shopping at the right places. Y'all gotta figure it out and stop pointing the finger so much. Uh, quick rant, I'll probably drop some more quote unquote vegan videos soon. And I don't even really like to call myself vegan, I'm an italist. But then here in America, <laughs> or here in California, most people don't know what that means, so I gotta, I gotta go around and tell them that I'm vegan now. So, you know, plant-based, vegan, whatever. I, I'm very loose and I'm very lighthearted when it comes to the terms because I understand that at the end of the day, what you do is the action, you know? So, screw the names, honestly. I don't even tell people I'm vegan. I, I tell people I eat fresh food because then if they really wanna know, you know, like, no, like, like, who really eats fresh food? People who eat meat don't eat fresh food. That's not fresh. You didn't, I mean, and, and unless you killed it yourself. But I don't even want to get onto all that energy and stuff like that. I, that's the thing. A lot of you guys are arguing with yourselves. This is, this is the alternate version of you. Who has just as much passion as you do. And you met them. You know what I mean? So, it's funny because for me, honestly... I attract my alternate selves a lot of the time. So, so like sometimes when I do get kind of passionate and start talking about this stuff, I'll attract somebody who's not um, who's not hella aggressive, but they believe in what they do. And it's like we can have a conversation. 
So just watch your energies. Don't be always trying to change people's mind. Like, be be happy for yourself first. And people will see you as an example because they'll be like, damn, why is Tino not getting sick? Why does he still look like he's 16 but he's 23? Damn, I want to have energy like that. Damn, why is he not yawning? You know what I mean? So, like, people will figure it out. And be a humble teacher, you know? It's nobody's job to be humble, but there's a place for it. Humbleness does have a purpose, though. So, do as you wish. And just remember, we're all here together. Everybody's your brother and sister, even if they're lost, even if you think they're your enemy at the end of the at the end of this life. The you know, the king and the queen go back in the checkerboard. I mean go 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 back in the same box. Game of chess and checkers, man. We're all just playing roles. We're all just characters out here, so just do things for you. Cause that's all that's gonna matter in the end. Quick rant. Bless.